I'm calling the 5.56 ammunition shortage over, if it were only that simple. While you can find bulk ammunition online in vast quantities, and you can even find it at major retail outlets in vast quantities, finding a particular ammunition brand or finding heavier 77 grain bullets for long range shooting can be expensive and difficult. Take this 77 grain Black Hills tip match king ammo for sale right now, and I can't find it anywhere online or at any major retailer. And if I do find it, someone's asking $2.50 a round, which is ridiculous. Now I bought this 77 grain tip match king ammo before the ammo shortage and paid around $1.15 a round, which is somewhat reasonable if you only shoot 20 rounds or so per outing. Now I've called Black Hills Ammunition and I asked them about their current production of the 77 grain ammo. While the lady was pleasant on phone, uh, she told me that they're not currently producing this ammo and haven't produced it in about a year and a half. In fact, she told me that they haven't even fulfilled the back orders from the current ammo shortage. She couldn't tell me even when they were gonna start producing the ammo again, although it would be in, her cat in their catalog. Therefore, I've started looking around for other ammo. And what I came across was this 77 grain Razor Core ammunition by IMI Systems. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna take it out to the range and see if it's a viable substitute for the Black Hills ammunition, which I really enjoy, but can't find. Now this ammunition was a dollar eight cents around, which is just about what it was prior to the ammo shortage. So let's get out to the range and test this at a thousand yards and see how it does. Okay. Right in the middle, huh? Yeah! I've sped up the video because I spent the next nine shots chasing the wind. Just so you know, that wasn't a cold bore hit. I actually missed the cold bore shot by 10 MOA to the left, which is what happens when you dial the MOA for your windage on your turrets and you dial it in the wrong direction. That first shot actually took 20 minutes of angle of left wind or actually compensating 17 feet to the left to hit the target. So the wind was very erratic that day. On my third set of five shots, the wind became more steady. So let's take a look at how I did. You ready? I'm ready. You got it. Where? Close to the bullseye? Yeah. Here we go. You got it! You got it! Oh, you missed at nine o'clock, barely. At one? Nine. Okay. I've once again sped up the video before the fourth and my last group. The third group was pretty good with three out of five shots landing and centered up pretty good on the target. This group actually called for eight MOA of left wind and was shot five minutes after the first group. So the wind changed from 20 MOA hold to an eight MOA hold in five minutes, which is actually about 10 feet of wind shift. Now on to the last group, which consists of four shots. You 
Really miss it at uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yes. You got it. Where? Close to the ball side. You missed, you missed at 12 o'clock. 10? 12. You got it. You got it between the, the both side and 12 o'clock. All right, two out of four shots on the last group, which isn't bad. That last group actually took six minutes of angle for my windage hold. So I had to adjust the hold in the reticle to get them centered up on the target. And that again was another uh, 20 inches of shift within a few minutes of shooting. As you might've noticed from the footage, I chronographed the 20 shots I took that day of the IMI 77 grains with my lab radar. Now those 27 shots averaged 2,753 feet per second, which was a pretty good velocity. Although when I shot the Black Hills 77 grain tip match king ammunition through the same rifle, I averaged around 28, 25 feet per second as opposed to the IMI 27, 53 feet per second. This velocity difference doesn't seem to be all that much, but it can make a substantial difference when you're shooting at 800 plus yards. I did get an 84 foot per second extreme spread with the IMI 77 grain razor ammunition over a 20 round string. That is considerably more than I used to get with the Black Hills ammunition, which gives me an extreme spread of around 45 to 50 feet uh, per second. It also took me 44.75 minutes of angle on my elevation to reach out to the thousand yards but I'm gonna call this a, a good ammunition because of the value and the fact that you can actually buy it. It's actually 57% less than the Black Hills right now, if you can even find it. So for a value and trying to shoot out to a thousand yards, I think it's a good alternative to the Black Hills ammunition and I wish you luck in your thousand yard shooting. For more AR-15 related content, including long distance shooting, be sure to check out my channel. God bless and guide America. Have a good one and thanks for watching.